Hello everyone, welcome to the Koch file. So I'm going to be doing a <clears throat> commentary on Chantal Foodie Beauty's recent live stream called Bees In. Let's do it. So how are you guys? This is, um, yeah, it's cleaner in here. Amanda Holton. I still, I try to have some uh, Mary Jo, your glasses are cute. Thank you, Esme. Oh, your nose. I can't believe somebody asked her to blow her nose. Ay, pick it, pick it, shove it in there, girl. Shove it. <sighs> Look, I have no issue with people blowing their nose, but she does it excessively. That's snotty allergy. Hi, Samantha. Snotty allergy. I know. <coughs> mm. Oh, my God, Marissa. Hi, Marty. Audrey. <coughs> hi, hi, hi. Sandy, serious. Mia, Sofa King, Brooke, a plain cheeseburger. Marissa, you're just like, a, you're an awesome friend. I just want to say that. You're like just an awesome person, honestly. Like... <laughs> Nessa, Bird Lakes. Hell. Doesn't she seem like Chris. she acts very juvenile in her behavior? Like, awesome. She just acts very Happy. immature. Kristen. Hugs, like she's almost everybody. 16 in her head. My cult. You're my enabler. In her behaviors. The non members are probably streaming right now. Yeah, let's That's talk about that, Chantal. I did not call you troll. For us that are not members of your member chat, Hi, you Jessica. are cutting us short on our participation you. with your channel. <laughs> oh, Susie. Because <laughs> honestly, what's going to happen is people are going to get very irritated and stop I'm watching her. She her. has to include everyone at some point. <laughs> She's doing these isolated oh, no. really, members Jenny? only chats. Shoot, good luck. It's You'll so bad. Okay. It's so bad. You'll be just fine. All what they do is feed into her behavior. <laughs> yes, yeah, so fucking. Kels B, can you be my mother? Oh, Kels. Oh, you would not um, want her to be your mother. You? Oh my gosh. <laughs> of course. Can you sure, imagine her as a mother? Whew. How about a week? Of week free of edibles. I don't think that's going to be possible right now, Joe. The edibles are my medication. How are they your medication? What do it you is. take them for, for <laughs> medication? Now, I'm someone who suffers from chronic pain. I'm in pain every day. So for me, it keeps me off of other medication that can be far more damaging. It, cause, it, it gives me so much relief. And I only do it when I need it. And I don't do it in excess. She does it in excess. I'm curious as to what it is she needs it for. Because she doesn't use it like someone using it for a medical purpose. She uses it, you know, as a recreational. She does it to get high. It's very evident in all her videos that she will eat those edibles, get all goofy, get so, so high, end up eating a ton of food. It, it's a cycle, continuous cycle. And one thing about this cycle is she is not productive at all. She has not accomplished anything that she has set out to accomplish. Chantal, you have to get focused. Stop using the weed so much. You don't need it that much. It just honestly... My anxiety, like, is so bad sometimes. Well, you need to get proper medication the, for the anxiety. Where I'm just like, I can feel my, like, you know, I can. See, here's the thing with anxiety when you have to take medication for it. You can't use weed all day as a form of medicating yourself for anxiety because you do have to function throughout the day. That's why they have prescription medications that will help ease up your anxiety. If you're feeling that anxious, taking weed every day is not going to help you live a productive, anxiety-free life. 
it's actually going to make you more anxious because you're not accomplishing anything. And all these things that you want to do just keep piling up, piling up, and piling up. This is going to cause you more anxiety. Trust me, I know. It's a form of procrastination. When you're getting high, you don't feel any motivation to do anything. You don't feel this urge to deep clean your house or eat right. No. When I'm high, I want to eat good, comforting foods. I want to eat candy. I want to eat bad stuff. You're becoming very unproductive. You're not accomplishing anything. And this is going to cost you with your channel. It's going to cost you down the road. You better smarten up and change things now before it gets too far down the road and you can't reverse things. Feel the fucking attack coming on and it, I don't want that to happen. They have medication because for that, Because if it happens, Chantal. it's going to be a fucking big one. And this one, these edibles, like even just this dose is cool. Just fucking... Wait, she just said that dose is cool. The amount of marijuana that she consumes is insane. So that dose isn't a functioning dose. That's a I'm blown out of my mind high dose. If you need that level of weed to curb your anxiety, you need to be on proper medication because obviously your anxiety is far, far more deeper than what weed can do. You know, like it, it takes it right away, right away. No, it's only masking it, Chantal. For sure. You're taking such a high so. dose. You're only doing it to mask it. It only takes a little bit for me to no, curve because, my anxiety. No. They gave me medication for my attacks and it's not working. Well, then you need to change your medication. You need to go back to your doctor and on a communicate sex. that. Oh, God. Look, anxiety is a very serious thing. I suffer from anxiety. I've had panic attacks many, many times. And there are medications that help you with those things. And if something isn't helping you, you need to go back to your doctor and you need to communicate that so that you can try a different medication because there are a lot of options out there. If you're at that level of anxiety and panic attacks, weed is not the answer. You need to go see your doctor. We don't even know if you're consistently taking your psychiatric medication. You very well could be neglecting that part as well. And that could explain a lot of why you're feeling this amount of anxiety. Weed is not the answer. Trust me. I, I've come from that. I understand anxiety. I've had it all my life. You need to be communicating with your doctor. You shouldn't be self-medicating yourself with weed. What happened to someone? I don't even know what's going on. I'm in my own fucking world right now. You're always in your own world, Chantal. Always. Yeah, you did, Marissa. She's smiling. She must have talked to the Thank dom. Thank you. <laughs> Angie. <laughs> Can we bees before bed? What time See, now they're oh, bringing up that beezing oh, before be bed. She needs to stop this beezing before bed. Okay. It's okay to do that. I mean, I smoke weed every night before bed. But it helps me sleep. And I don't take it in excess. Be able to? Fuck. She just totally abuses it. Um. Oh, <laughs> I do miss you guys. Play Mario Kart, yeah. I should. I will soon. I have the munchies now. Fuck. 
You know, after I watched Chantel, I realized how oh, much more like, entertaining and productive my like life is oh, compared to hers. I just feel like eating more bread. She needs to um, fill her life with activities and things <laughs> and people. <laughs> Enough with your munchies. Oh, Brooke, oh, cute. Fuck, it just hits you like munchies. <laughs> no, it hits you because you, you ingest so I don't know much why. Uh... weed. Hi, Halloween Andy. All right. Susie Lynn is smoking a bong with your entire family watching me while you're on Kiwi Farms. You know, she's always licking her teeth. And I notice that sometimes people will do that when they don't brush your teeth often because you get this kind of film on your teeth. Do you wonder if she brushes her teeth frequently? I wonder that sometimes. And now she's talking about Kiwi Farms. I'm so glad that she finds it entertaining that there is a designated area where they dissect her entire life. And this is why sometimes my brain thinks that She's just playing us all. Yeah, I did. This was from my Fab Fit Fun. And you know she gets a Fab Fit I'm Fun when she is anything but Fab Fit or Fun. They get annoying though. <laughs> what can we do fun, Leslie? Putsin. We oui, do putsin. Annie, I don't know why it takes me so long to find your lives. Oh, fuck, I don't know. Well, it's only been seven minutes. Omegle. Omegle? Is there like a lot of people jacking it on there? What's 22 qu questions? Susie needs to get Lucy and relax. Never have I ever. Clean under the bed? I don't have an under the bed. I have an around the bed. Poop tin and Mario fart. I can't believe there's this fucking TikTok of me with like 2 million views. What the fuck is this shit? That's hilarious. Oh my god. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Me ask what happened joke. to your TikTok so account? I, don't diet. I didn't even know she had a TikTok. I don't want to eat. I want to eat, but I shouldn't eat. I don't. I think I deleted my TikTok account, didn't I? Chantal, you can actually <laughs> Joe, curve your eating if you time. find. She could curve her eating if she finds things to stimulate herself, like cleaning her house. Getting a planner, outlining your day, going out for walks. And I mean, you don't have to drive two hours or an hour to a place. Just get out of your apartment and walk. I can tell you that seeing her in the supermarket yesterday was such a refreshing sight. I am so happy, Chantal, that you got out and you physically walked through the market actively participated in getting your food with Pete's and having some type of activity and stimulation in your day. You need to keep doing that. You need to fill your life with things other than YouTube lives, Mario Kart, the Dom, the weed. This, this is not life. There's so much more. You can live such a robust life. Puts in and Mario Kart. I fucking hate the baby park one and the music one. It's not the one of me working out. That's such a cringe video. It really is cringy. I agree. Well, that's why people watch me, right? Because I'm cringy. Even people who like Amanda me. said, no poutine. Do you have pickled beets? Fuck baby Great dripping. suggestion. Yeah, the pickled beets would be much more healthier for her I to eat. Beets. They taste like dirt. 
what amazes me is all these members that I, I see on every live all the time and they're the mm -hmm. entire time. I can't believe I'm that they have this many hours to spend <laughs> participating have, in like, hours and hours of live way. chat a day. Hi, Dana. And specifically, I have some olives and cheese and bread. That's all I need, I'm telling you. Yes, olives, cheese, and bread. Oh, fuck, I'm in trouble. And dark chocolate covered hazelnuts. Look at her, she's talking about food like she's lusting after it iconic. enough already there's other things in life you can talk about <laughs> what happened oh, to that to-do like... list you had that you're putting together with us on the live where are My you at with this stuff sore. Because every time I give blowjobs, like, my throat gets sore. I'm oh, my okay. God, Chantal. No, okay. Seriously. It's true. Like, Seriously? TMI, and I know that's really bad, but whenever I become God. sexually active, no matter who it's been with, BB, anybody that I had their thing in my mouth, it, like, hits the back of your throat and it hurts. Oh, like, my God. Seriously? And, um... I had a sore throat, but I had those two garlic. I mean, what are you doing? Ramming them in your throat? I mean, what the hell's wrong <laughs> with you? <laughs> My throat's better. Oh, fuck. I'm crazy. Greek salad. You are crazy. <laughs> you are. You said it. I deep-throated the apple pie. I fucking forgot about that. I didn't get very far, did I? Damn. Gotta practice. Um, I don't know Lazy Days. I didn't see it. Probably. <laughs> Far enough. Oh, fuck. Kelsby says, Karate Joe, have you ever taken an edible? L-M-A-O. It doesn't turn you into a three-year-old. No, she she is just immature herself. It's oh, not the weed. Because, but uh, the weed does not help. How many Chantal calories did I eat today? In that area. I don't usually count them, but I, today I kind of want to. <laughs> so now they're, you know, joking the on Karate King Joe Nashville about he's burger. never had weed. Apple I'll leave the guy in, alone. Side puts in. What did I eat? A large lemonade. <laughs> you don't need lemonade. Bites. Drink water. I don't even fucking remember. Or put lemonade. fresh lemons in the water. 1100 probably. And then, Angie, Karate J does not need edibles. Uh, if somebody does not want to participate, he does not have to. Oh, oh, sorry. oh fuck, and then I don't know, like the, the what I came home from, what I had from Farm Boy. Yeah, Karate J is right here. Make me hungry. It's fucking With bad. all the trolls, tell her what to do. Uh, no she does cheese, it. Called mob mentality. Oh my god. You're absolutely <laughs> pin on, Karate J. Okay, well, I could make up for it tomorrow by. <laughs> I'm about to do some shrooms. I'm about to do some fucking shrooms. Chips. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look at her, she's eating chips. I don't have a twist. Chantal, you just said multiple times in the last couple of weeks that the next day you were going to eat a clean, whole food based diet, cutting out the majority of junk food and takeout. I am yet to see this. You have not, you have not delivered on this at all and all it does is impact you it impacts your life it impacts your health you're damaging yourself nobody else is doing this you're damaging yourself you need to get control over your life you need to have some degree of control you are so out of control you just you just eat and then you, you just everything you do is so impulsive and irresponsible you need to get a hold of yourself, please. You can be better than this. Stop shoving chips. It's okay once in a while to have chips, but stop going to this junk food. Why don't you eat an apple, eat some grapes? There's so many different things. Mango, papaya, strawberries, blueberries. There's all kinds of sweet things you can eat. If you want something salty, why don't you get healthier chips? They have healthier options. Get some pita chips or something. You won't eat as much because they're thicker. Too misty today. 
Oh, she's going to do a today. Mr. Misty today. Hi, Hi Donna. Marissa. <laughs> Close your mouth, Chantal. You ordered a McFlurry? Susie is wildin'. Shatter bears. <laughs> Shout Enough out to with the shatter bears. bears. No, no shout out to the shatter I bears. Have not That's what's Susie damaging that you. Yeah, Angie, I agree with that. Do a salt water gargle. It helps the throat. Yeah, absolutely. Also, I'm going to give you guys uh, this one woman when I was uh, living out west. She <clears throat> told me about this remedy for sore throat. I'm telling you, it works like a charm. Um, you take a tablespoon of honey, you heat it up like in the microwave or on top of the stove or whatever until it gets like liquefied. Then you put it in a little cup or spoon or something, squeeze as much lemon as you can and then just drink it one shot. I'm telling you, it's the best thing I ever learned and it works. Oh, please don't sing Chantal. <laughs> You're having fettuccine after your workout class? I have a feeling tomorrow's going to be and a fluid day only. I want to see a only. photo with goth. Yeah, twisty with misty goth. and water. No, you don't need a twisty misty. You don't need that sugar, Chantal. Plain cheeseburger. Chew in my ear, please. Like so they're think. encouraging her to be loud and open her mouth when she's eating. You would just love it, don't you, cheeseburger? Oh, please. I can't let me flare it a little bit here. Please. <laughs> Eat all the farm boy food in one sitting. No, what? please don't do that. All right. Oh, I was a prank Pete. No, leave Pete's alone. But I'm going to make a good fucking dent in it. Right about now. Wait, <laughs> didn't you just say so cold in here that you shouldn't nips. eat? Yeah, yeah, you're not I'm, physically feeling hungry? I'm sure you don't want to know about my nips. Oh but my goodness, I can't imagine what she's going very... to binge on now. <laughs> Hold on, you got to see this. <laughs> you stupid chubby use. You chubby use, you stupid chubby use. Now you see this? You she's stupid, still... She's chubby still... Chubby use, chubby use. Oh my god, shut up. She still has these boxes laying on the floor. Oh my god. Okay. You can't leave this stuff laying around day upon day, week upon week, month upon month. This is why you accumulated the pile that cost you $400 to break down and take out of your apartment. Chantal, that is an unnecessary expense. I can't even believe to this day that you spent $400 on someone to come in, break down boxes, and throw them in the recycle. I, I still can't wrap my head around this. And you're doing it again. You're building up a pile of these boxes every week or every day that you have no excuse. You have nothing else going on in your life. If you want, take one box at a time. You know, that would be great exercise for you. Take one box at a time. Do it for like an hour, up and down, up and down. Do it. You will feel so much healthier and you'll feel like you accomplished something. So she's in the kitchen now. You're cute plain cheeseburger, even though you're a beezer. So we can see she's nice and stocked up in the fridge. Let's see what kind of damage she's going to do. 
I'm on to your troll club. I am. If you're on to the troll club, why are you feeding into it? You see this? This is you playing cheeseburgers. What does she do that for? And how much you want to bet she never cooked that Hello Fresh meals? Welcome what a to the waste. very important feasers. Ready, set, feast. Is there another new member? Where? It was Mimi. Oh yeah, Jay Bro. <laughs> Ooh, watermelon. Uh, what should I have? See, Jessica Florick is saying, I want a Twisty Misty. She, you know, they're trying to get her to order one. Yogurt. <laughs> okay, so so far she's taken... Fridge. Oh my God, it's still in her fridge. I mean, that's got to be bad <laughs> so by now, right? Fun. Oh, Chantal. Oh, you need to take care of your stuff. You need to keep on top of this. Fuck off. Scapegoat! Welcome to Very Important Beezers. Ready, set, peace! I missed you! Ow, son of a bitch! Oh, sorry. Oh, should I make cheese toasties? No. Oh my god. Give me hummus. Don't worry. She's taking out hummus. Yogurt. I know what I'm doing. Trust me. You left your mark on me. This is an interesting comment. I started online dating following Chantal. Now it's been a month I'm dating a guy. I can't thank Chantal enough for taking us along the journey. It motivated me. Oh, Mimi, if Chantal motivates Jeez, you, that was God bless. Because uh, I don't find anything motivating about her. Excuse I me. actually find her very disturbing oh, and troublesome. She really needs first. a lot of help. This is a Riviera yogurt. Goat yogurt. Purple Glitter said, fridge clean-out video coming soon. I ripped soon. you in half plain cheese. That would be nice. I know you're the ringleader. The Hello Fresh burger in the background, you see it? It's in half. Susie says, Chantal has been such an inspiration for all the oh regular God, gals so cool, out there. Uh, I find nothing about oh her God, inspiring. Tell us about your romance. We need some good stories. Don't you want somebody to love? I'm a fucking spad. Oh yeah, look at this. Alright, strawberry bottom. Look at how slimy it looks, but it's Ew. so good. I've never seen yogurt mm. that watery. <laughs> shh, I said shh. Oh my god. Susie Lynn, you don't even try very well Doesn't to hide your trailer somehow? farm <laughs> trolling. I don't know. Her trailer trailer. I'm not park. trying to, Cat. Trailer me. farm is sexualizing new. itself. Did you scapegoat? Hmm. Cat Queen, why are you sexualizing a yogurt? She sexualizes Goat all milk? food. Doesn't hurt my stomach like like dairy. Like hell Chantal, me. yogurt is dairy. Hmm? You oh. have to cut out dairy. Someone it's not joined? good oh, for you to teeth. have that much dairy. Welcome to Very Important Beezers. Everybody, ready, set, beez. <laughs> Hi, Tom. Is Tom cute? Look at plain cheeseburger. I Thanks ate 10 joining. edibles. Are you trying to get her to, to eat the edibles? It probably looks disgusting.
This chat is thirsty. The Asher Gang project, it is really thin. They don't put any... So Karate Jerry wrote, yogurt? Tom is pro probably, I think he meant to write probably, someone from they the farm, like half of you members are. This is like I don't know. Yeah, natural, maybe. Maybe Kiwi Farms yogurt. people in here. Okay, I get it now. The uh, farm comment was about ki Kiwi Farms. Okay, mm. never mind. I think, right? It's good. It's an interesting comment. Amanda says, so much harder to motivate in the heat. I find it the opposite. I do usually get lactose free. Welcome, Tom. Yeah, Marty. I agree. There's a lot of trolls in here. And they manipulate her good. Jamie B1, welcome to the very important Beezers Club. Ready, set, bees. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Karate Joe, she needs to stay away from dairy, period. She should really... I love beezing with you guys. But find other options. All right, I'm going to have two more of these chocolates. Don't have a conniption, Susie Lynn. The flow water, I love it. It is silky. Um, no. Now what is she shoving in her mouth? Hmm. So Amanda Holton wrote, Karate Joe, she will always have haters because this is the this internet. Is so perfect. At least she gets to take their money now. The perfect snack. She could take their money when she you was know. doing all, um, you know, the live chats with all the members. I love sourdough. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do Does like sourdough, sourdough bread. Means? Is it like fermented yeast or? Chantal, you should try um, garlic loaf. That's really good oh, too. And they have fresh angel. garlic. It's very good. No, sweet angel. Just wait, sweet angel. Now, wait, what is she angel. getting out? No, sweet angel. <laughs> is it a beer? No, limoncello. A oh, lim limoncello. Mm. Getting used to it. Susie Lynn is a hero. Where is she? What happened to her? <clears throat> what the heck is that? Well, it's nasty. The hell is that? Well, Ew. it looks like turmeric vomit. Give me a minute to spread my sandwich. What are you spreading it with? That's disgusting. So what did you say about the food? Susie Lynn? What did you say, Susie Lynn? Wait, is that the hummus? Is so that... You go shave your pits? That can't be hummus. I haven't shaved my pits in like five fucking years. I don't really? have pit hair. Well, no. It, it was recently, but... I mean, I don't have a lot of pit hair. Ew! Chantal! Anywhere. She is shoving a knife on her tongue. What the <laughs> heck are you doing? So Marty's asking, is that tahini? The curtains match the drapes. Well, there's tahini in hummus. Except I'm assuming like that's the hummus. Crazy. Okay, so Chantal, let me give you some hummus advice because I'm from that part of the world. Oh, my family's from that part of the world. It's so easy to make. Chickpeas, tahini, lemon, water, sa uh, salt, cumin. Okay, and, and fresh garlic, if I didn't say that yet. You put it in a mixer, you taste it, see if you need to add anything. Don't put too much because you can always add, you can't take it away. You'll get a better consistency. Make sure that you take the peels off of the chickpeas, okay? Because if you don't take the peels off, it makes it kind of chunkier. So if you want it to be smooth, take that skin off of the beans, rinse them real good, wash them, Put it in a food processor with all the other stuff, the tahini, the lemon. Literally two 
small cans of chickpeas, a big tablespoon of tahini, one lemon, one or two cloves of garlic, depending on what size they are, a few pinches of cumin, salt, a little bit of water so that you can thin it out, and just, just blend it. I'm telling you, it's so easy. It's so healthy. And you know what ingredients are in it. And it lasts up to a week in the fridge. I also put a little bit of olive oil when you put it in the blender. Okay? It is the best thing to have in a fridge to snack on. It's so much better than the store-bought ones. Hey, cat lady. Welcome to Very Important Beezers. Ready, set, peace. Thank you for subscribing, guys. I'm is really that spicy that you hummus? Are. You know, I don't. I, I'd mm -hmm. be interested to know what kind of hummus. It looks so weird. My cheese snack. I will be snacking on cheese. She's going to be snacking on cheese. So here we go cheese. again with the dairy. Oh my god, I love cheese. Sorry. I love cheese too, but there's no need to doesn't. abuse it. And I have a feeling she's going to be spicy eating hummus. a ton of cheese. Yeah. Okay, so that is the hummus. You know what's really good with hummus? Mm. Vegetables. Carrots, celery. This is like freak, like any of those types of vegetables is orgasmic. People know what I'm talking about. Don't you? Chantal it tastes now. a lot better if you make it yourself. Don't play with it. And me. you'll feel good about yourself because you know exactly what you put me. in it. Mm, you make one batch, lacy the whole week. That's what I do in my house. She just licked the box. Oh my god. I need another slice of cheese to make my okay. She's gonna have another slice of cheese. I feel like this is gonna do you guys like my makeup turn into a cheese fest like, like that cemetery cheese she did that day. <laughs> What's a tub of cheese? Hat Queen wear. Mmm. The moist balls smelling cheese. Mmm. My favorite. Aw, <clears throat> oh, thanks, Joe. You're so sweet. So, Marty Funkhauser says, I like your sex makeup, the raccoon eyes and all. Yeah, I guess for guys, maybe it's a turn on. I, I just find it so ugly. And I think that it's um, it's not appropriate makeup for her face. I think she puts way too much. I remember to take my makeup off. Fucking she does have a pretty oh appearance. Love, it's not like she's, you know, me. deficient in that area. You guys love cheese, right? Yes, I love cheese, but I, I mean, did cut down a like... lot. And I will say when you have the gastric sleeve surgery, if she ends up getting it done down the road, you can't eat as much cheese. Dairy, mm, it doesn't sit well with you if you overindulge with it. I do have cheese. I love cheese. It's one of my favorite things to eat. However, I cut it down dramatically because it isn't good for your digestive system when you're eating it too much okay anything you eat too much is not going to be good for you um she takes cheese to a whole different level i mean we saw it in that uh, funeral or cemetery thing she did with the cheese things um she just went too far with it and she's probably going to do that in this one. Oh, yeah. all right one more slice I don't um, think it's going to be one more slice. In between. Cheese. Snap. And destroy this cheese. Annie! Oh. Shanta, you don't have to eat like an animal. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love the rind. I used to hate it, Jujubee. Tom! I'm 
Nobody be mean to anybody. So now she's eating sourdough know. bread with cheese and olives on top. So she's having more cheese <laughs> bread. <clears throat> and we have to remember too the cheese is high in fat. It's another thing. Yeah, my jaw clicks. <laughs> yeah, I uh, don't lick your fingers. Stop it. My pants are a napkin today. Wow. Wow. Really, you're in a kitchen with all kinds of towels oh. and paper towels around, and you wiped your dirty hands that have not been okay. washed <clears throat> on your pants. Sorry, I was laughing because... You're classy. Like, whenever you go through menopause, you t you have lack of estrogen. Don't so use the menopause as an excuse. Look at she's eating more. She is eating more bread and cheese. I knew this okay. was going to happen. I knew it. Everybody kiss and make up right now. Mm. <sighs> if we don't make up, I'm going to deep throat this sandwich. Chantal, that is something we do not want to see. So, do it. I'm going to do it. Mm. So, Marty Funkhauser says, I never, it's kind of weird saying Marty Funkhauser because I always think of Curve Your Enthusiasm. <laughs> um, I never wrote that, and I have only bullied oh, Susie me, since. Sorry. She's a Kiwi farm troll. Interesting. Alright, I'm gonna do it. No, please don't. Damn, then I'll need the garlic to get rid of my throat infection. Please tell me she's not gonna shove All that right, in her mouth. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, I gotta do it. <laughs> I can't believe. Now, I can't believe she's behaving this way. In 2021. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're hearing in the background I my neighbor shocked. is mowing his lawn and the lawnmower is pretty loud. You can hear it through the house. So my apologies. I'm a joker. I'm a toker. I'm a joker. I'm a smoker. I'm a big dick choker. Oh, <laughs> oh so classy, Chantal. <laughs> So classy for a woman down. who's almost 40 to do on YouTube. Wow. I am beyond impressed. Mmm. <laughs> be they're so funny. I love them. Where can I use them? Oops, a little bit. You left your mark on me. I oh no, know. she's singing. Water day. Oh my gosh, she is eating more cheese. The Karate Joe wrote, she had three when she said she would only have one at the most. So, won't have the munchies. All right, last thing. Oh, no. She's having another slice of bread. So, so far, I've counted three slices of bread, oh, a ridiculous so amount of cheese, and it's some so hummus cute. and olives. <laughs> I 
I love you too, guys. And all this time. Sorry, I'm just gonna like make one more thing here. Wow. Chantal, you're going to be in a rude awakening when, 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 if and when you saying, have the like, surgery. Because I can I tell you this like, much, you will not be able to consume that much food at one time. You can, however, space your food out. So your pouch is very small. So you can eat a little bit at a time frequently. But that's a thing. You can't get into that habit. So right now what you're doing, the amount of food you're eating in one sitting, it will never happen. It will never happen. You will either get very sick, damage your, your pouch, your, your stomach pouch. You, I'm just seeing a, I'm just seeing a bad situation because until you get a handle of this, you are in no way prepared for surgery because you will never, ever be able to eat food the way you're eating it now. You will physically get sick and I don't mean just you might vomit you'll get sick from the back end the front end inside you're gonna feel so bad I've experienced it I know it's very unpleasant and when you experience that you'll never do it again you know where to stop like uh, your average Like, even if I lose all the weight, I don't think it'll be, like, the same kind of, like, <clears throat> big deal journey because it's not really a conventional, you know, way of doing things. <laughs> Just, you know what I'm saying? So, hi, Lacey, love! You feel bad for what? What happened? What happened? Welcome back, cheeseburger. Welcome back. <laughs> Lacey Love Root. I love right. it here. You and all your Absolutely beautiful you subscribers like just make my evening so pleasant. Lucy, all of us subscribers oh, are unable love. to interact in her too. chat yeah, so because fun, she I only does a members only. So you, though, you kindly put all the subscribers oh, in guys. here, the beautiful subscribers. Um, it's actually the members you're interacting with because all of us have been left out. What? Mind my business. <laughs> oh, sorry. Excuse me. My bad. Look at this brie cheese. It's beautiful. You no? Know? <laughs> no, it's okay, Joe. God, what is she eating now? Okay, she's finishing a sandwich. Oh my god. I know what I would eat right now? Those fucking oh. lobster mac and cheese bites. She wants to eat more. I, I don't even know what to say. Like, she just ate three slices of bread, a ton of cheese, hummus, 
olives. How can he still want to eat What's more? Sure? Get off the lives and live your life. Hungry girl. Do something productive. Get your uh -huh. mind off of the food and the weed. So tomorrow will be a non-edible. No day is a non-edible day for Chantal. And really, she gives all of us Lower weed eating. smokers, stoners, or whatever you want to call us. Probably. She gives us a bad name. She gives a really bad image. For real? For real? Of people who really enjoy marijuana. She just... She... Mm. Oh, this is not how the majority of people behave. They don't consume this level of weed and act this ridiculous. I have yet in my life met somebody like her. <laughs> Savage. This is what happens. She's doing okay? For real? No, I'm not having another piece of that. She was going to open that bag. She was going to open that bag and get another okay. piece of cheese. <laughs> I could really go for some friggin' watermelon right now. That would be a good uh, choice. Oh, I have cilantro as well. Chantal's expired Hello Fresh. When are you planning the deep clean? I would love to see that happen. She's been saying it for so long, and she has yet to do it. Very disappointing. And all of you members in there should be holding her accountable. Because you're paying a so monthly nice, subscription um... to her channel. What is making you stay? Chantal, you got to start, you know, moving on your deliverables. I guess maybe... It's 10.47. When you don't eat three meals during the day. No, it doesn't, Joe. Well, yeah. I mean, in a way, like... Well, no. Maybe. Maybe you're right. Maybe your body makes up for it all at once. Well, I prefer eating all at once, then. Because I like eating a lot of food at one time, right? So... Like, if I'm hungry, hungry. It just depends on how I'm feeling. See, Chantal, your emotional connection to food, this needs to be addressed. You need to seek a therapist to prepare yourself for when you have surgery, if you do indeed have surgery. Which I don't even know how you would be approved. I'm not sure how it is, you know, with it in Canada. I know in the United States, we have to go through insurance. I had to do six months of nutrition therapy i mean all kinds of stuff to make sure that i was prepared enough for this major surgery you are going to need to address your emotional connection to food because you right there just said it depends on how i feel if you have feelings attached to food you need to resolve that because food is not feelings once you discover that it will be so much easier for you to stop eating so much when you realize that food is a choice, I mean, yeah, we need it to survive, but eating that level of food at one time, that amount of food at one time, it is never going to happen again. If you have surgery, be prepared. You will not be able to sit like that and eat. Are you ready for that? I don't think you are. I hope that you work towards bringing yourself to that point, but right now you're not there. You need to take a proactive measure into addressing the things that have you continuously on the cycle of not eating right. You know? Susie Moore. The fuck? What's going on with Susie's life? We have a drama within the chat. That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's invested in the story. Take us to the bedroom. You guys want to lay down with me? I didn't Marty Funkhauser said, Susie That's is really a French fried girl. <laughs> that would be so. funny. Karate Joe said, don't forget the Ozempic pen. Oh, she will. 
living an episode of Cops. <laughs> oh my god, Marissa. Sam. Her Uber driver was attacked with a shovel, my fucking ass. <laughs> That's funny though. Look at the lentils, guys. I haven't used them yet. Why haven't you? There's so many things you can make with the lentils, and it's a really good source of protein. We want to play Mario Kart. If I play Mario Kart, um, I'm going to be doing it offline. Oh, she's eating again. Joe! <laughs> hey, Karate Joe's right on top of it. Marty, you sure? She's French fried girl. Let's see what Marty says. Bye, Crappy Joe. <laughs> Chantal's expired. Hey, Hello, so Fresh. Cool. Are you going to the United States for another fast food binge? I like that video. I don't know if we're ever going to see. I mean, hopefully we will. I don't know if we're ever going to see those videos. <laughs> you guys need it's to demand it. Pat You're the I members. Don't know what the chocolate is. I don't know why. <laughs> I was just is she eating that chocolate? When you said that, I'm like, this is chewy. I can't tell what that is. Yeah, soon, Joe. Oh, it's a nut. It must feel like chocolate covered. Cough when you Hovering above Brenda's head. Shrek. <laughs> Message retracted. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm fucking. Was I drinking a Caesar? What the fuck? No. You know why I, the sad thing is, you know why I left the fart in? Why I didn't edit the fart out? Because the video was such a shit show that at least the fart would give it some kind of meaning. Wow. <laughs> wow. <You know? laughs> Even if it was shit. I mean, let's look at this. So the most highlighted moment of her video that she's talking about was the fart. That is the highlight of her video. She left the fart in because it was such a clusterfuck, her video. That that one moment of a fart was going to justify her video. That it was going to make it what you want to watch. She, yeah. Interesting, isn't it? Her standards are a bit skewed, don't you think? It, at least it would be a fart video. <laughs> Which is always funny. Are we in a, are we in a group of people who are juvenile? <laughs> uh, I, uh, look, at, look at this, look at this. What the hell is this? Oh, Chantal, you are so gross. You are okay. so gross. You're she's worse okay, than some men I've on. met. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> oh my god, okay. Can't do this. Well. Mac and cheese loaf. Annie is um <clears throat> How am I supposed to not miss that every fucking day? You know? Of course I'm gonna be kinda sad right now. Fucking moody even. 
Do you know what changes that, Chantal? Getting outside, getting off the lives, eating properly, going outside, getting some sunshine, some physical activity, doing things, mm. actively moving around, and accomplishing things. It will make you feel so much better. It produces liquid because it's like pee, the liquid, but it's not pee. No, because yes. What? You can do a test like. Okay, we don't need to hear this. It's getting ridiculous. You. He's so cute. He's it's still alive. How are you doing? Did you have a good nap? Yeah. I'm using this new fruit butter lip mask. Yeah, I'll do it too. Are you still tired? Always. Okay, so I'm going to end this here because uh, my patience, again, has been deteriorated. So this live, we see that, you know, she goes through vari various conversations. She, the, the eating is something that I think is central to this particular video, where we see that initially she was not feeling like she needed to eat, which means she was not feeling the physical effects, the physical hunger. Um, which is very different from mental hunger. And I know having gone through the process of weight loss surgery and having a surgery, it is interesting that you start to learn the difference between what is a mental hunger and what is a physical hunger. Your mental hunger is a lot of times connected to emotions, how you're feeling, the reasons why you're eating, either you're sad, you're happy, you're upset. Um, a lot of reasons can make the mental part go, I need something to soothe me, to comfort me. We will find that a lot of times in things like cheese, sugars, um, things that are comforting. Uh, I do it. And we all do it. It's part of life. But she needs to get a handle on that part because when she has surgery, if and when she does get approved and go through that process, she needs to learn the differences of those two things. And she might think she knows the differences, but by her actions, she does not know the difference. She doesn't know how to stop the mental part. What you need to do, Chantal, is get active, get moving. And I don't mean you have to run a marathon. You can simply walk around your complex. Here's an idea, take a box, Every 30 minutes, take it down, take it to the dumpster, come back, take another one, go down the steps, go out the door, walk to the dumpster, come back, get another one. I'm telling you, find reasons to walk, find reasons to have any bit of movement in your life because right now you have very, very minimal movement and it's not good for the body. It is not good not to move, especially as you're getting older because it gets harder and harder. I mean, I know with myself, it gets harder and harder to uh, exercise if you're more out of shape. And thankfully, I've always been a physical person, so I don't really struggle in that area. But I can see it being a struggle for you. Though, seeing you walking through the supermarket, you did a great job. I think you should continue to do that. But get outside. There are so many things you can walk to the dumpster, okay? When you come and bring groceries, instead of having Pete take all the bags up, take one bag at a time, grab a bag, go up the steps, put it in the kitchen, put it away, go down, go back to the car, pick up a bag, go back up. I know it might seem mundane to you and it might seem like a lot of time wasted, but the physical activity that you need is there. You need to be able to find ways to have physical activity, even if it's just going up and down the steps. You don't have to necessarily do an hour of running or an hour of walking. You can do little sprints throughout the day. Just get moving. Clean your house. Do that deep cleaning we've been talking about. That's a lot of exercise. Move everything. Dust things. Windex the glass in your house. 
Spray some Lysol, freshen it up. Wash your kitty litter bins, real nice with Lysol. Do these things that is gonna make your environment more pleasant and is gonna make it easier for you to focus on the goals that you have set. Because right now, you're feeling very overwhelmed because you have been procrastinating so much stuff and you've allowed this guy, as we like to call him Dom, consume you entirely the last three weeks. You have not done anything productive at all. And what's scary is you seem fine with it. And that's sad. You really need to get a handle on things, Chantal, because I don't see this going in a good place. I want to thank all of you for joining me today on this commentary on her video, Beeson. Um, please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe. It really helps support and grow my channel. And uh, I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye.